everyone welcome back today i have five new dollar tree valentine diys for you if you're new to my channel make sure to stick around by hitting that subscribe button and ringing the bell for notifications so you never miss out on a new video okay let's get started on the diy i'm gonna use one of these rugs from dollar tree for this diy and i am just going to first draw out a heart with some white paint that i had in a paintbrush so that way I have a guide to cut out my heart for my heart rug um, you could fold the rug in half and then that way you would make sure it was symmetrical on both sides I just kind of winged it and eyeballed it um, and then I used some chalk paint to paint the whole heart with um, I have used chalk paint for these types of rugs with no problem and then if you just spray them with a sealer they will last for a long time the last thing I did was use some white chalk paint and go around the edges to make sort of like stitching marks um, in the heart and that was it for this cute little heart rug that's perfect for Valentine's Day to display at your house. I love you. I put your favorite song on just to wake you up. When I dance around, I can't help but feeling just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm for this next DIY, I'm going to use four of these square wooden heart frames from Dollar Tree. I just took them out of the package and I am going to go ahead and flip them over and I'm going to remove the three little prongs that are used to hold in a picture for this frame. So I just use uh, needle nose pliers and if you just grab a hold of them and give them a little yank, they'll come right out of the wood. And then obviously I'm going to remove the heart pictures that come with the frame. Next, I'm going to use two of the rectangle wooden heart picture frames from Dollar Tree. I'm going to do the same thing I did with the square ones. I'm going to remove the prongs that hold in the pictures and remove the pictures. And then I am just going to use some of my pink chalk paint to paint the front, the back, and the sides of the square heart picture frames and let those dry. And then for the rectangle ones, I'm gonna go ahead and use some cream color chalk paint. I'm gonna paint the front and the back and the sides of those as well. You can paint or stain these whatever color you would like it's up to you and now everything is dry I'm gonna go ahead and put this all together I'm going to make a cute little house lantern with all of these pieces so with the square pieces I am going to hot glue those together to make a box um, you can use wood glue E6000 hot glue whatever you would like I just always Always use hot glue because it's the quickest for me um, and then for the top or the roof of the house I'm gonna go ahead and use the rectangle pieces I'm just placing a little bit of hot glue on the edges um, of each side of the house and then I am slanting those two rectangle pieces together to form a peak at the top and then hot gluing that peak together and that was it for this cute little house that's perfect for Valentine's Day decor just sing along and I can't help but feeling just loving this moment can we stay here forever I'm loving this moment can we stay here this wreath is super easy to make and it won't take you very long at all I used a Dollar Tree wire wreath form and then I used 10 bunches of these light pink colored roses and I just plucked them off of the stems I did pluck some leaves off but I didn't end up using the leaves you can if you'd like if you want to add a little bit more greenery to yours I just decided not to um, and all I did was put some hot glue on the bottom of each rose and then you can see here I just set it in between um, the 
wire on the wreath form and I just went around and did that to the whole wreath um, and it works out really good and it's super easy Dollar Tree has a ton of these different colored roses with dark pink light pink um, different variations of pink so you could mix this all up um, and do all different colored roses or just the one color like I did um, and I think it looks really pretty like this and you can use it for Valentine's Day or spring or even all year round. Now when I did flip the wreath form over you can see all of the hot glue mess kind of and how everything is <laughs> worked on the back there so I wanted to cover that up because my door has a window in it and you could see that from the inside so I just used some nautical rope and just hot glued it um, around that circle there and that covered it up nicely you could use burlap or scrapped fabric uh, whatever you have on hand I just didn't have any of those so two bunches of these ropes worked out perfect and I love how this wreath turned out. I picked up one of these large styrofoam hearts from Dollar Tree and I also picked up a jar of the lightweight spackle from Dollar Tree as well. I want to make this look like a faux concrete heart. So I am going to go ahead and add some of this chalk paint to my spackle. I did probably add a couple tablespoons. I didn't measure, but that's just my guess is how much I added to get the spackle to look like a grayish color to make it look like um, cement or concrete. So I mixed that all up and then I inserted a wooden a skewer into the bottom of the heart so that way I could hold it better um, and then I just took my spackle and a little spatula that you can get from Dollar Tree and I just started spreading it all over the heart um, it's not going to spread super evenly and it's not going to be very smooth but we're going to try to take care of that at the end after it dries so i was just worried about just globbing it on there and covering um, as much as the styrofoam as i could uh, sometimes when you wipe the spackle on there it kind of wipes some of it off so you kind of have to layer it a lot to get it to stay but once I got it all to stay I set it up um, in a piece of styrofoam upright to let it dry for 24 hours after it dried for 24 hours it's hard to the touch so I went ahead and I removed the skewer and I am going to just take a sanding block and I'm going to sand the whole piece to try to get it as smooth as I can make it. So it won't be perfect um, like real concrete um, and it's going to have some imperfections and probably some air bubbles too but for the most part I definitely think this does give off that uh, concrete vibe and it's lightweight so it's not heavy um, and it's cute to add to some Valentine's Day decor this year and it's something different. Can we stay here? For this last DIY, I had two more of these rectangle heart picture frames from Dollar Tree. And again, I'm just going to do the same thing as I did to the other ones. I'm going to go ahead and remove the little prongs holding the pictures in and remove the pictures. So I thought these wooden pieces would make a cute little riser. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stack them on top of each other, but I'm going to make sure the hearts are opposite of each other so that way the cutout heart has just wood 
wood underneath it um, and then I'm going to hot glue the two pieces together you could use wood glue um, but hot glue works just fine and then I have these little wooden blocks that come in a package from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna use those as the feet for my riser so I just flipped it over and I'm gonna hot glue the little wooden blocks to each corner of the piece and I did double up the blocks so that that way the riser would be just a little bit taller because I thought one block just wasn't enough um, and then after everything is glued together I'm gonna go in with some of this flag stone stain by Verithane and I'm just gonna go ahead and stain the whole piece um, you could definitely paint this or stain it a different color it's up to you um, how you you want this to look and to make it go with your decor but I love this stain it's kind of like a gray light whitewashed stain and I thought it worked perfectly and I think it's super cute to add to my Valentine's Day decor and I can't help but feeling just loving this moment can we stay here Thank you all so much for watching today make sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you made it all the way to the end please leave me a heart emoji down in the comments below and i will see you guys in the next one take care bye bye